Hey cuties, so in today's role playing video, my daughter went missing. Zoe, come on, please, stay where I can see you. You can see me, mommy, you can see me now. Yeah, I can see you now because I asked you to stop wiggling and stop dancing and to just stay in one spot. I can't have you going missing on me. Why? Why? Because then I'm gonna go home with a big Zoe sized hole in my heart. That's why I don't wanna lose you, honey. You know, after all these years together, I've actually grown to like you. Oh, mommy, can I get these? I don't know. It depends how much they are. We gotta go ask the cashier. Okay. But stay where I can see you. Please don't go off and run again. Got it. Wait, what on earth is that girl doing? Excuse me, Mr. and me and sir. Uh, how much are these chips? Well, hello, little girl. How are you? I'm good, but do you know how much these are? Uh, I can't say off the top of my head that I do, but I might have some candy to give you. Would you like some candy, little girl? Oh. Hey, but I was gonna get the candy. I'm sorry, uh, is there a problem? You could say there's a big problem, but it's okay. We're leaving now. Moments later. Zoe, I swear to God, you are gonna give me a heart attack. Why did you do that, Mommy? You said to bring the chips to the man. No, I said to bring them to the cashier who works at the grocery store. So that he could ring them up, not the creepy stranger that was offering you candy. But I like candy. Yeah, Zoe, we all like candy. But whatever happened to it, not talking to strangers? What do you mean? What do I mean? Zoe, don't talk to strangers. Don't take things from strangers. The two most important lessons you will ever learn in life. But the man at the cashier is a stranger. What makes him a stranger that's good and the guy who wanted to give me the candy bar bad? Well, we could argue that anyone who offers candy to kids who they don't know is bad. But we're not gonna go there right now. Just listen to me and stay where I can see you. Oh, and please don't go up to strangers. It is a dangerous world out there, Zoe, and I do not want to lose you. Don't worry. I wasn't gonna go home with this stranger. That doesn't make me feel much better, but I appreciate the effort. Ugh, I wish I could just keep you in a kangaroo pouch just to keep you safe. But apparently that's considered overprotective. The next day. Hey girly, what's up? Oh, nothing much. Just trying to get some cleaning in before Zoe gets home from school. I thought you had to go pick her up. Nah, she's becoming so much more independent and she wants to do more herself. So she's been walking home from school with a little group of her friends. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Has she been coming home on time? Yeah, she's been doing really good with it. But the stinker almost gave me a heart attack yesterday. Why? What happened? We were at the grocery store and she was running all over the place where I couldn't even see her. And? And, well, I'm getting to the good part, okay? She wanted to know how much something cost, so I told her to bring it to the cashier. But instead, she brought it over to some strange man who was offering her candy. And worse, my child was ready to take the candy. Talk about taking candy away from a baby. Wait, so that's it? What do you mean? Isn't that enough? Didn't your mom ever tell you the scary story about how a stranger asks a little girl to pet his puppy? Or that he's got some candy in the truck and then he steals her? No, and I'm starting to think maybe you shouldn't have because you sound nuts, girly. Oh, whatever. Okay, my point is Zoe is at the age where she should know better. And it kind of worries me that she is so naive. I mean, something could happen to her. Girly, I really, really wouldn't worry. Zoe is a good kid and look on the bright side. Maybe the stranger just wanted to offer her some candy. Sky, promise me you won't become a motivational speaker for parents, okay? Why? I think I'd be really good at it. Meanwhile, remember, stay together. Bad things happen when we get separated. Zoe, don't even keep saying that every five minutes. I'm sorry. It's just what my mom says, and I just don't want to risk her not letting me walk home with you guys. I'm just lucky she's not here making us hold hands. Ew, I don't want to hold hands with a girl. And I don't want to hold hands with you. You have cuties. Whoa, guys, look over there. What's that? Whoa, I think that's the new kids club. There's a kids club in Brookhaven? Well, really, it's an adult club, but they have kids nights once a week where we're allowed to go in and party. And by party, you mean jump up and down under a disco ball, drink soda, and get a stay up till 9 o'clock. Whoa, that sounds like the ultimate dream. We should go. We should go for the kids night and all come here after dinner. Forget dinner. They serve pizza. Whoa, it's a dream that keeps getting better. Ask your parents tonight. I'll ask my mom, but I don't know what she's going to say. She's been so weird lately. Weird how? So get this. A stranger offered me candy at the grocery store, and she wouldn't let me have it. <gasps> how could someone make you give up candy? That's what I said, so I'll ask her, but I don't have a good feeling. Later that same evening. Hi, Mom. Zoe, you're in such a good mood for someone who just spent the entire day in elementary school. Thank you for coming home on time. You're welcome. 
So, how was your walk? Was it good? Yeah, we actually walked by something super cool today. Oh, yeah? And what's that? Club Brooks. Oh, yes. Club Brooks. <laughs> Those were the days. I mean, I'm sure they have fun days there. But why were you looking at Club Brooks? I mean, that place is for grown-ups, honey. Not anymore. One night a week, it's a kid's club with pizza and soda. Wow, I guess anything to attract a younger clientele. That sounds fun. Really? So I can go? Thanks, Mommy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Uh, Zoe, I did not say that. I said it sounds fun. Like, in a few years, we can talk about it again. Sounds fun. Not a sure you can go sounds fun. But why? My friends are gonna go. We go as a group. Well, for one, you're not even 10 years old yet. Not old enough to go to a kid's club without me. And second, you kind of scared me yesterday with that stranger. I don't know how comfortable I am with you going somewhere at night by yourself. Did you not hear me? I said I was going with my friends. Oh, I heard you all right. And did you not hear me? I said I'm not comfortable with you going and we can talk about it when you're a little bit older. Ah! Well, if you're gonna stomp your foot at me, then you're definitely not old enough to go to a kid's club. Now, go up to your room. This conversation is over. Ah, but you're not being fair! You don't give me a heart attack in the middle of a grocery store and then tell me what's fair, okay? Now, if you're gonna throw a tantrum, you're gonna have to do it up in your room. Fine! I will! Ah! Oh, that girl is definitely not ready to go to a kid's club. The next day... Hey! We thought it would be best if we all told together. Okay, me first. My mom said yes. Me too. My parents said I could go any night I wanted. Okay, so what about you? What did your mom say? Yeah, well, uh, my mom said no. What? what? She, she said, said no? no? Yeah, my mom is kind of being a meanie, but don't worry. That doesn't really mean I can't go. Well, I'm sure if your mom says you can't go, then you can't go. Nonsense. I'm going to tell my mom I'm so mad at her that I want to go to bed early. And then once I'm in my room, I'll sneak out of the window and meet you guys at the kids' club. I don't know, Zoe. Are you sure that's a good idea? Oh, come on. I'm not a scaredy cat. It will be perfect. Just make sure that you're there tonight. Got it. We'll see you there, Zoe. Later that same evening. Uh, Zoe, is there something wrong with what I made you? Oh, are you not talking to me? Yeah, I'm not talking to you. Oh, shoot. I just did. Honey, I know you were mad about the kids club, but I'm sure in a few years you'll realize that I was just looking out for you. Huh. I'm going to my room. Fine. If you want to punish yourself by going to bed without eating dinner, then you can go ahead and do that. Meanwhile. That worked perfectly. Okay. All I have to do now is go down the window, jump the last few feet, then run to the main drag of Brookhaven, and my friend should be waiting there for me. I mean, that all sounds pretty easy, right? Nothing can go wrong with this plan, and my mom doesn't think I'm old enough to go to a kids' club. <laughs> I'll show her. Whoa, it is kind of a long way down there, but not too long of a way for me. I totally got this. Moments later. Zoe, I know you're mad at me and you don't want to talk, but I also don't want you to go to bed without dinner. So please, honey, come on, let's just talk it out. Zoe? 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 Oh, that little... Hey, girly, what's up? Oh, I'll tell you what's up. I am gonna kill that kid. Whoa, okay, you may need to slow down there and, I don't know, maybe rephrase your wording in case we're being recorded by some secret government agent. Yeah, that would be cool. Focus, Sky. Zoe is missing. Missing? What do you mean Zoe's missing? I mean, I came up to her room and she is not here. The window is open, her room is empty, and she's gone, Sky. I think she ran away. Well, where would she have gone? Ugh, there's this kids club she's been wanting to go to and I told her no. Do you think that's where she could be? Well, if she's a kid and her parents told her not to go somewhere, then I'm certain that's exactly where she would be. You want to go bust her? Oh, yeah. I want to go bust her, all right. I mean, what if she gets kidnapped? What if something happens to her? I mean, that girl takes candy from strangers. She cannot be trusted. Come on, let's go, Sky. All right, I'll be right over, girly. Meanwhile... Oh, wow, Zoe, I'm so glad that you got to come out. Oh, I wasn't going to miss this for the world. Sneaking out wasn't as hard as I thought. I climbed out the window super quiet and I put some pillows in the bed to make it look like I was sleeping. I'm sure my mom doesn't even know that I'm gone. Moments later. Oh, Zoe, you are in so much trouble. Meanwhile. Oh, I'm getting tired. I think I'm gonna go and sit down. Hello there, little girl. You never did take that candy I offered you the other day. No, 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 no. I'm not supposed to talk or take things from strangers. Uh, get away from me. Zoe? Mommy, mommy, I Well, honey, I'm proud of you for coming to that conclusion. Proud enough not to ground me? Not that proud. <laughs> <laughs>